Winston Churchill was our greatest Prime Minister, 1940 to 1945, and he lost the 1945 general election in a landslide. We have no right to hold on to power indefinitely. I can speak now to Charles Walker, Conservative MP for the uh, Broxbourne, uh, for, for Broxbourne, sorry, live uh, from College Green. Hello, Charles. Um, Hi, slightly confused that I'm on Times Radio, but apparently on camera. Oh, you see, but we, we were just, we're multi-visual, you know, oral, yeah, we I do love everything. It. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just so amazing. <laughs> I love Times Radio, maybe I love Times TV, well done. Well, now you've got them both in the bag, haven't you, as it were, so yeah, thank you very much. Fantastic. And I'm very, very glad you like Times Radio, we quite like it ourselves. Yeah, um, uh, your yeah thoughts, it's good stuff. Your thoughts on the, on the Prime Minister's resignation, did you like, did you like that speech? So the Prime Minister is, is perfectly entitled to have the resignation speech and give the speech that he wants to give, so I'm not going to pick over that speech. Um, I thought he would go last night, he, he went this morning. I have always said he has been so polite in his dealings with me over the years that I've known him. So I, I'm very sad that it ended this way, but it did have to end, uh, and it ended at 12.30. Obviously he'll remain as Prime Minister while the party looks for a new leader over the next few weeks. Charles, you say you're not going to pick over the speech, which I understand, but 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 surely, as a Conservative MP, you, you would feel, because you wouldn't have wanted to end up in this situation, you would feel that a degree of contrition uh, might have been required. Look, he's entitled to feel hurt and upset. He probably hasn't slept for the best part of 48 hours. It's just so easy to... I, I just... All we do in politics is put the boot in left, right and centre, normally when a camera's thrust in our face or a microphone, and I'm just not willing to do that. Mm. He, he got a lot of stuff right. He made some big mistakes, but he did, as your last speaker say, get a lot of stuff right. Uh, yeah, he also said that he got a lot of things wrong and he thought he should have gone That's true. quite some time ago. Um, yeah. What do you think, I mean, what do you think about that? That was Sir Anthony Seldon uh, saying that. Yeah, no, it's, everybody's entitled to, to a view. I mean, that's what we all do. And it's lovely to live in a democracy where everyone can have an opinion on politics and be a commentator on politics. And Anthony Seldon, Sir Anthony Seldon, is a, is a very informed commentator and should be taken very seriously. But everybody has a point of view, pubs, taxis, tubes, trains. And that's what's so wonderful about the country that we live in. But I presume that you're intending to carry on being a member of the Conservative Party and indeed being a Conservative MP. And, you know, what everybody's saying almost unanimously is that there has been great damage done to the Conservative Party. Do you not feel that and, and, and the impact of that and a desire to actually mitigate for it? Well, Mariel, I'm demob happy because I announced six months ago I was standing down at the next general election. So I'm skipping towards the door. Um, and I've done a 17 year stint as an MP. I suspect there'll be another two years before a general election, which will probably be October, November 2024. So I will try and make the right decision with my colleagues. We'll, we'll look at all the runners and riders. But, but look, the Conservative Party lives on. It's undoubtedly been damaged. Uh, it may well not win the next general election. That's just life. 2008, the financial crisis hit and Gordon Brown lost power two years later. I mean, there is a democratic wheel that turns. We have uh, only a, a leasehold on, on, on government, not a freehold. Do, do you think it's, it's time for a change of direction or a steadying of the ship when it comes? You, you've said we, that you as a party have sustained serious damage. Uh, what do you think should happen next? Well, whoever, whoever takes over, there will be a change of, of direction. Uh, I think we do need to, to, to steady the ship. It's been a very uh, traumatic six months. And we need to govern uh, determinedly in the national interest with, with no eye on winning the next general election. It is our duty to do the best for the country over the next two years. And win or lose, we leave the country in the best possible state. I mean, that's what, that's what happens. I mean, I do remind people that Winston Churchill was our greatest... Prime Minister, 1940 to 1945, and he lost the 1945 general election in a landslide. We have no right to hold on to power indefinitely. Well, it sounds like you've gained a lot of wisdom over your 17 years. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and, and also to see you, Charles Walker, on the miracle well, that you. is Times Radio Stroke TV. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, just, just one final thing, uh, Charles, though. Who, who do you think should, should lead the party next? Do you have a thought on that? Oh, I think there are three uh, definite uh, standout 
candidates. I don't know whether they're going to put themselves forward, but you've, you've got Ben Wallace, uh, Penny Mordaunt. I think Liz Truss is going to put her hat in the ring. I don't know about the other two, but those, those three would be strong candidates. And there might be others that emerge in the, in the next few days. Well, as I said, thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure talking to you and thank you for joining us on camera as well from sunny College Green, as it seems to be. This is Mariella Frostrup on Times Radio. Yeah.